I'm a color theorist and I'm also a painter. And what part of this is this awareness that I have learned as a painter being asked to teach color? And the question is, before you teach it, you have to know what it is. So I asked the question, what is color? And basically for the last uh, decade or so, I've been investigating deeper and deeper into what now I call the color field of life. So it's basically, we live on this planet and we get the light from the sun and every single thing on the planet is, is lit by the sun and color is a, is a component of light. And it's also, for each one of us, part of our visual system, part of our, it's a mental construct, it's different for each one of us. And it's fascinating because when color is investigated that way, it's not merely decorative, it's something that all of us, it's, it's codes that we live by and they inform everything that we do. And from the moment we opened our eyes and looked out at the light or stop at a, a red light or eat in color, everything that we do is living in color. And so I, I feel like the more that we're able to understand that, that language, the, the better we're able to really understand the world and communicate better. So my work in the last few years, I, it got to be, I'm really embracing a modernist style. So I really like um, big bold shapes and bold colors and very deliberate color palettes. And what happened, and I'm simplifying down the subject matter. So I got down, you can't get much more simple than an ant. And I remember when I started doing that a few years ago, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm painting an ant. This is so weird. Um, but she's a modernist ant, very angular, and I realized that what she does, the ants have the biggest biomass of any animals on the planet. They know how to work together. Um, they carry, in this case, she's carrying her leaf like a banner, her head's held high. And I, I, there was something about that body language of, she's, she's like, it's like Atlas carrying the world. She, she's carrying a load that's bigger than herself. She's going home to the colony. So she's actually, I'm calling her a she, but it could be a he. Um, it's, she's actually teaching us I think the humans right now need mentors. So the little tiny ant, I said, you don't have to be big to be a hero. The little tiny ant is showing us, um, this is what happens when you work together and live in harmony with mother nature. And so that's how she, she became, just became the sort of the hero of this. And I felt like for us, we see that we're all on a hero's journey. And the hero's journey is, is life. You step out your door, it's, it's, it's tough out there. But you can learn, you know, you, 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 like you notice the light and you notice the leaves and you notice the birds, and you notice the ants and you realize we are not alone, you know, and we've, we are learning how to, I think we need to learn how to see each our, ourselves in harmony and in concert with nature, which is really the bigger picture. And we kind of lost sight of that. So I think it's a beautiful message, you know, that we can be part of something and, and also to be ourselves, to hold our head up high. I have been kept my eyes on ACC for a while because as a I'm a contemporary artist I teach at UT I teach color I have wanted for many years to find a way to, to bring my art not just on paper but bring it out in different scales it can be larger it can be smaller it can be a repeat pattern because the message is one that is so powerful it's about the message which is you know we we respect Mother Nature, we work together, hold your head high, and, and, and also appreciate the beauty of, of the art. So um, the fact that we, the incubator is offering a way to do the product development cycle, I could never have done that as an artist. I don't, I'm not trained in that. I don't know about that. I've been trying to find out how to do a tech, technical package for years. People will say, just write a business plan. I'm like, oh my God, if there's so much, it's so complicated. But to be able to have a place here that is opening up, that is helping to train and mentor and guide the artists and designers, that then I can, I can do the, so the first capsule collection comes out in the fall. So we're looking at exactly what that's going to be. And we're for sure, it's gotta be something you can rest your head on. You can bet it's gonna be a pillow and and it's going to be a, a table runner because I, one of the ideas is to come together at the table and so also to make fabric that can be used for clothing so it probably will have a, a the little teacup we saw a teacup and a little plate so you know introducing to people that you know if, if you buy into this this concept then we'll bring that back and invest in our community I think it's the fact that it's beautiful to make things. And I like, but I, in part of what's happening here, I'm inter interested in STEAM, that's science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So art is in the context of everything else. It's, and it works together with all, with, with all these other pieces to make the world. So for me, be, now, it's like, oh, I can 
I can not only make art, I can share art. I get to meet all these incredible people that do all these things that I don't do, that I can't do. And when we link them together, we can really make make powerful things happen and, and put the message out in the world. So that is the most, it's just so exciting that it has to do with working together and sharing. I mean, I'm making the message and I love to make that. I love painting, but I love that it's about something much bigger than me, myself and that it's also very inspiring and I think that we need it. So to be part of that, this new lifestyle movement, it feels incredibly good.